from the nomad as opposed to jumping yourself, that's good. I envy your forehead plates. Well, that's specific. Headbutts are like shorthand for Krogan. Focused spot like that, you'd make a point pretty damn quick. Let's not jump into the giant crevasse. That sounds like a really, really bad plan. Shit, shit, shit! Yep, 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 we're dead. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. So I need we're gonna Duke's a hazard this fucker. This is the place to do it. I need a lot more. Start, I think. Exposure to the surface radiation will kill you, Pathfinder. I do not advise leaving the Nomad. Nope, they did it again. You think Cash lied to you? Nah, she's not the type. I'm pretty sure none of us really knew what we were getting into. Bamboozled. Nice word. Yeah, I learned it from Sid. She's into some weird old human shit. Good name for a drink. The Bamboozler. <laughs> that is actually a really it. good name for a drink. Alright, so this looks like a decent bridge. And not marked on the map, I should mention. Unsettling. Now you say it after all. <laughs> but they were doing the uh, no, that didn't happen. Um, Prince of Persia approach to some to, to the falling off the cliff depths. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. There we go. We're past travel point on the other side of the massive crevasse of death. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Let's head with loyalty mission. Remember that last push before the arcs left? All that activity for a guess about a galaxy. I... According to Sid's intel, that's where those settlers are being held. We should check it out. Yep. I do not detect life in our immediate vicinity. 
Hmm. Let's head in, but stay sharp. My sister may have missed something in her investigations. The up my duration. Yes. Yep, I picked this loadout for a reason. Um, let's just take a look. Let's take a look at the new shotgun, though. Okay, and ooh, you are a, you are a nasty looking little thing. Damn it, damage boost, more ammo, but you know what? Um, less ammo and lower rate of fire. But hey. That's a flip with sense, so that's down to like only two less. Actually, the heavy spare clip, because our accuracy is high enough that the hit wouldn't cause too, that too much of an issue. And then we've got lots of different, like we have. Our damage is already really good. Um, take the weight hit. There we go. Let's do it. Looks like no one's home. I swear, if Sid sent us on a pointless search, I'm going to drill her shin plates. Whoop! No! No! What the hell Booby trap was that? is what that was. Did I land on you? Sorry. So good to finally meet you. And you brought friends. That's even the Pathfinder, if I'm not mistaken. My bait worked better than expected. The missing settlers. Who are you? Why are you kidnapping innocents? Innocents? <sighs> They're criminals. You helped them get away from me. You think I'm gonna let that go? Get comfortable. You'll be here a while. case of mistaken identity I'm just as lost as you are it's okay Vetra you don't have to cover for us that was Meriwether she runs a smuggling ring on Kadara aha uh -huh. we worked for her Vetra helped us get out of it new lives hiding in the outposts so you were helping people there was no need for all that modesty. It's not modesty. I didn't help anyone. Okay, okay. You didn't help anyone. out of here. We've tried. There's no way out. There's always a way out. I'm the Pathfinder. If nothing get the... Ryder, you have to believe me. I've no idea what's going on. I'm going to get answers, but first we have to get out of here. We need to talk. Yeah, I know. These people here think I helped them, and somehow Meriwether feels screwed over by it. How well do you know Meriwether? I've heard of her. A smuggler, not affiliated with either the Outcasts or Collective. Never did business with her myself. Kind of a loose cannon from what I've heard. What do you think Meriwether's planning? Looks like she was gunning for me. Here's the people she thinks I helped as bait. 
If you ask me, she's planning to kill me. After a thorough interrogation, of course. Sounds like she wasn't expecting you. Might try to get something out of the Nexus in exchange. Anything else you haven't disclosed that you don't, don't want to say? Like to say? You sure you don't know anything about what happened here? Ryder, I swear on my sister's life. I don't know what I did to put myself in Meriwether's crosshairs. We'll talk later. Focus on getting out of here. What I like to hear. Vetra seems really agitated. It's making me doubt what really happened. I, uh, I hope this all gets sorted out soon. You said Vetra helped you. How exactly? Mm. Some of us were trying to get off Gadara. She must have heard about it through contacts. She reached out to us, made up assignments at the outposts. That got us free. We didn't meet her in person, only over comms. Maybe it was never really her. You think? Anyway, <laughs> we thought Meriwether would let us go. We were wrong. How did you get involved with her? Tell me more about Meriwether. She used to be some kind of military surveyor. Now, she's a gang leader and smuggler. Working for her was alright at first. Then, uh, she started doing things we didn't like... agree with. But you don't just quit working for Meriwether. Oh, was she selling people to the cat? We needed someone oh. to help hide us. Now, Meriwether's convinced we're scheming against her or something. There was some mention of you being a Nexus exile? Yeah. I'm not proud of it. When we first got here, things were bad. Real bad. It was all too easy to start scapegoating the initiative. When the revolt happened, I joined. But things aren't better on Kadara. Or out there on your own. Thanks to Vetra, I got a second chance to do things right. I wish I knew what he was talking about. <laughs> How did Meriwether get a base on this planet? She made friends on Kadara. Some Angarans who told her about this place. It was a mine or something. Got damaged and abandoned. It was perfect for Meriwether. She wanted to strike out on her own, away from Sloan. We put a lot of work into this place. Carved out a niche, doing things even Sloan won't touch. Do you know what Meriwether plans to do with us? We were always bait for Vetra. Now that Vetra's here, Meriwether has no use for us. And for Vetra, most likely revenge. Meriwether doesn't care for people who meddle in her business. Nothing good in store for anyone, I'm certain. There'll be time to talk later. You only put some work in here. You, you put together couches. Let's talk to you. I don't even know how long we've been here. I bet Vetra's sis, um, sister Sid did this in her name. Door controls are not accessible from here, Pathfinder. There has to be a way out. I can open the doors from my end, but they're powered down. We need to get them going again. Your end? Who are you? I don't like the sound of this, Ryder. Just get those doors some power! All right, where are we getting the power from? It appears functional. No way to know until we try. That works. That cable's not going to get power no, to that door. Work.
There we go. Might connect the door to the generator. Power cable. cam footage to that panel. You'll be able to see the guards coming. If you wait till they go by, you could surprise them. Took care of it. We should check that the colonists are okay. All right. I level up my guns. Most of my guns there, or my uh, survival stuff. Is everyone okay? Sidera Nix, you've been pretending to be me, haven't you? Uh, how did you think I don't recognize my own tricks and stop using my voice? Sorry, it was just easier to get things done when people thought I was you. You know, because you have contacts and stuff. Sid. So you didn't help us, just like you said. It was... Yeah, my kid's sister. I think I read this book when I was in middle school. And it was kind of cool. Give your sister some credit, Vetra. This wasn't exactly easy to pull off. Ryder, don't encourage her. <laughs> Sid, I know you're in the facility somewhere. Get back in your shuttle and return to the Nexus. But I can help you get everyone out of here. You hacked a door without checking for safeguards. That's help we don't need. So walk me through it. I got eyes on the base. Ryder? If she can tell us what we're up against, that'll be a big help. See? Fine. But she has to follow my instructions. Can you do that, Sid? Yes, <laughs> We'll stay put and follow you when it's safe. Don't want to get caught in the crossfire. The sooner we get going, the better. Sid will alert us if anything's headed our way. Head down the corridor, through the mess hall. That's quickest. Before we go farther, are you in a safe spot? Yeah, I'm tapped into their system from outside. Shuttle's well hidden. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Actually, up close and personal, machine pistol. your sister was messing about impersonating you? Do you think I would have let her if I knew? This explains a bunch of the strange reactions I've gotten from some of my associates. Shit. I have no idea what else she's done in my name. Crafting materials, scrounge.
Sid, can you see the colonists? Yes, they're playing it safe, keeping the corners. I'll keep an eye on them, promise. Sid, we're going to need you to hack into systems to cause a disruption. Right. Only one. Get in and get out. Too much messing around and they'll track you down. All right. I can send a surge of power to that generator. The electrical discharge from that could take out some of them. Sid, what's that door? Um, looks like it leads to some kind of workshop. Could be some gear in there. Any security? Yeah, loads. If I open the door, you'll have to deal with them. Ryder? Overload that generator as I walk through the door. You got it. Passageway next. It'll take you through. Huh. It looks like a bunch of cages. Yeah. Alright, so. Hey, can we get in here now, Sid? It's manually locked down. I can't open it from where I am. I love when I get this reaction from bad guys. Galloway, stay where you are. There's guards in the corridor right by you. They're moving on. Okay. Good. You're clear. Okay. That's a lot of animals. They could be training them as a security measure. If they're still feral, they could soften up those guards for us. Then again, they might also attack us. They have a fiend? I can't open that cage. Remote access is disabled. They probably don't want accidents. That's for the best. That is for the absolute best. Turrets. Those might be a problem. I could turn them off or change the attack protocols. If we can change one thing... Let's... to kill them anyway so I mean if we open the door they're going to start shooting which means it can be a firefight let's make it an easier firefight turn those turrets on Meriwether's men that should get them out of our way here we go <laughs> that works. Doesn't help. Oh, shit. 
shit. Yeah. That thing was so big. You guys were amazing. Anyway, you should head through the workshop next. That's the direct way out. Okay. So, Fiend. Um, yeah, th those things, which we learned earlier, if they grab you, will one hit kill you. I want this rat caught. Double the rations for anyone that does it. Galloway, you guys still doing okay? You cleared this place out good, Ryder. No trouble so far. All right. That armor will be trouble if the pilot gets inside. It's plugged into the network for maintenance. I can disable its systems. If that engine has a charged core, it might explode. I could dump out whatever's in those tanks. That stuff cuts right through shields. If we're not careful, that'll hurt both them and us. Um, let's go with shutting down the Hydra mech this time. Blowing it, we'll take out take it out so the pilots can't get to it. We'll take it out. I think it was near it, but then won't take out the pirate for the hydro pilot for the hydro wig, who I'll still have to kill. Let's Looks like you've got loads of options. I think of the hydro rig before. Sid, can you fire up that engine? Let's blow them up. Ugh, that's gonna hurt.
Sucking today. That was really awful. I knew you guys did stuff like this, but helping you do it, it's different. That's why I never wanted you involved in the things I did. You can't have excitement and adventure if you can't handle pain and blood. Well, I guess it's straight through the door next. Like, I would have had to shoot all these people anyway, so blowing it up theoretically minimizes the number of people I have to shoot. Sid, what do we have coming up? Uh, Sid? Uh, looks like... Sid? I think... I think someone found my shuttle. Clear I'm out. Here. I think I gotta... Oh no! Sid! Sid, come in! They found her. They're gonna kill her! Why'd you have to go be the hero, Sid? Stupid. So, so stupid. Sid's leverage. They won't kill her just yet. We just have to be quick. <sighs> You're right. I think I can trace Sid's signal. Should take us to her. No time to waste, but we have to be careful. They have my sister. Watch out! They're coming straight for us! Health refills, need health refill real quick. Just an ammo refill, crap. There we go, health refill. We did that.
I should have saved before I walked through the door, but let's okay. Think carefully about your next move, Pathfinder. That explodes. It takes you out, too. You won't let that happen. Petra. It's going to be okay. We're gonna get you out of this. Okay. We're talking. Now what? Put your weapons on the ground. Oh, I'm using the wrong loadout for this. If I was biotic, this wouldn't be an issue. Get them! Kill all of them! Out again. Actually, no. <laughs> Enjoy your flight. Okay. Are you all right? Are you hurt? I... I think I'm okay. Help's on the way. We're all good, thanks to you. I didn't mean for any of this. I'm sorry, okay? You can't just mess around with people from Kadara. They're dangerous. I just... These guys wanted to start over, not be exiles anymore. 
No one else was giving him a chance, so I thought, I can do that. I can help. You did the right thing. It's just you have to know what you're getting into when you do it. These are good people who made bad choices. Your sister did the right thing. She still should have talked to me. I don't want you hurt. There are ugly sides to what I do, and you shouldn't have to deal with them. You started out when you were my age, and you managed okay? That wasn't by choice. You saw what we did here. This isn't all fun and games, Sid. Yeah, I was shocked at first, but I understand now, and I can handle it. I don't want you to have to. Whatever. I'm going back to the Nexus, like you wanted. Sounds like you're going to need a long talk. Before I even attempt to talk, she'll need some time to think. We both do. Hey, at least the settlers are safe. Thanks for helping me out with this rider. Can we just get moving now? Sure. Hey. Building mission complete. Oh, we still got work to do. The outlaw headquarters. Sid gets me so frustrated. I try to be firm. She pushes back. I lay down the law. She pushes some more. See, that's your problem. Kids need boundaries, sure. But they also want to know you're not the enemy. Our dad. would not have agreed with you. Your dad sounds like a piece of work. Special ops, right? Yeah, something like that. He never went into details. Disappeared. Yeah. I know the type. Let's head to the next point and next drop point and then call it a uh, session. Suvi Anwar is correct. Cosmic radiation is unusually high on this planet, likely an effect of the Scourge. Let's say I just walked out into it. What would happen? Cosmic rays would penetrate the molecules of your DNA. Terminal cancer is highly likely. Suddenly, I'm thankful for the Nomad. What is... Another bridge. Okay. Don't look down, guys. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added. Added to your nav system, Pathfinder. All right, save the game, and we're going to call this in a session. Thank you very much for those who watched. Uh, if you enjoyed the show, please um, subscribe on whatever platform or their network you watch this on. And please uh, consider backing my Patreon at patreon.com slash user, well, patreon.com slash count zero OR. It's as you see it spelled on the top of the screen. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next Sometimes time. Sometimes I wonder what Sid and I'd be like if we'd had a better And we'll let them life. finish their banter. Maybe we wouldn't have grown up to be so difficult. Difficult's good, Fedra. You took what you had and made it yours. That's all any of us can hope for. <sighs> if only you'd raised us, old man. Haha, <laughs> you would have turned out so much worse. Maybe a better shot, though. <laughs> uh, and on that note, see you next time.